Cross. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? To my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only I don't know about shooting today, but I can only imagine. Hey, come on. I can only imagine when that day comes and I find myself standing in the sun. I can only imagine when all I would do is forever. one. This is the last one I want to do for you. God gives me a reason to praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for worshiping with me today. Glory to God. Come on, put your hands together like this. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on, y'all. I know you know how to praise. Listen. Sometimes I feel like crying. Sometimes I feel like running. Sometimes I feel like running. When ain't nothing chasing me. Sometimes I feel real warm. Sometimes I feel in strong. Sometimes my heart's real heavy. In my relationship with you. Oh, 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 yes. Come on. Hey. I'm not 
shows that keeps me reminded of the miraculous power. saved in all kind of elements but we're here in the community to bring together the community as one under God not as one under any kind of denomination but one under the relationship of Christ and that's why we're here that's why we're out here on the streets not behind the walls of church building but out here on the on the streets getting people who don't want to come in the church building uh, because God can save anywhere and that's why we're here that's why we're in the seating for Christ letting Christ come through us and um, I think it's a good thing humbled to be a part of uh, Geneva Spears um, effort to go out and get a city and get their attention and we're just happy to be here in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Isaiah 43. And the Lord says, forget the former things. I'm doing a new thing. Don't dwell on the past. I am doing a new thing. And he says to us, do you not perceive it? Let's get our eyes looking at the things he is doing. I don't want my plans. I want his plans. I want to see our one Lord leading our one body in this city. What a pleasure it is to join you on prayer chain day. To, to walk with you through this city. To take up a stand for the Lord. And I'm glad they're getting the sound back. All right. He says that he is making a way in the desert. He is making streams in the wilderness. Let's see if we got it. There it is. There it is. A few years ago, in my job, I was driving around Flint, Michigan. And I was going through a hard time personally. And I would pass churches and I would say to myself, hmm, sure, if we had a new gym like that, we'd be doing well. And the Lord put his, his finger on me and said, I want you to pray for every church that's lifting up Jesus in our city. Yes, amen. So in my job, I travel all around the city, all around the county, and as I pass your house of worship, I am praying for you the way that um, I know you are praying for us, that the Holy Spirit will be released over our city in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, stirring up a new thing, a new thing in our city. We're going to listen to the words of Isaiah 43 and not dwell in the past or on the former things, but set our eyes and our hearts and our minds on the new things that the Lord is doing among us because His streams are good and I'm not going to miss my chance to drink at that living water. And His way is good. And I want to share his way with the people that bump into my life, in my neighborhood, on my job. I want to see his name lifted up in our city. Glory to him. Let's say it one more time. One Lord. One body. One body. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. Grind up a tooth. Pastor, uh, I just want to say that uh, it's a blessing to be able to participate in the uh, prayer chain day, adopt a quarter outreach. Uh, we've been uh, participating since the year 2004, I'm thinking. Uh, we're so proud to be a part of this ministry because we know that according to 2 Chronicles 7, 14, God says that if my people who are called by my name, you know, should humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, God says that uh, he will hear from heaven and hear the land. So what we've been doing today, we've had refreshments, and uh, that's been like a way that we can, uh, you know, get a chance to minister to the visitors who come around. Uh, so far, we've gotten a chance to talk to people who have had drug addictions, uh, and we told them that this is okay. And uh, we're just, you know, blessed to be able that people are just, you know, pouring their hearts out with us. So we prayed with him, and uh, he did receive his healing. Said that he was gonna get back active, you know, in the Word of God and study. So we think that this prayer day chain uh, outreach for our community is really an asset because uh, the people uh, have a chance to know what prayer can do when you have faith to believe in the Word of God. So we just bless God and just so thankful that we're here today. You know, we're thankful for Sister Geneva Spears 
who have planted the seed and a lot of the churches uh, are getting involved, you know, because uh, Jesus said back in the day that my people perish for lack of knowledge. So we just praise God. I praise God for her being in force in my life and for just showing me that obedience is better than sacrifice and prayer is uh, the key. You know, when we have faith in God, believe that what God says, that we can move mountains. So hallelujah, Jesus. So glad to be a part of this outreach. The First Lady of Riverside Church at this time, I'm going to keep right my head. I'd like Minister Jeremy Riley to the stage. And Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Psalms 30 and 5 says, Weeping may endure for a night. Anybody tired of the weeping? But the promise says, Joy comes in the morning. Anybody ready to receive joy? Anybody expecting the grace? I thank God that we are moving on the behalf of His will. And I'll pray, that, or pray with us as we prepare to minister to you in song. Yeah. 
this year we actually did an actual pray, prayer chain outreach here in the Ballinger Park where we had other churches from the city of Flint partner with us other organizations such as Wellness, uh, Flushing Road Ministry, um, the Health Center, and various organizations that came out and did health screening for the community. We also were able to have a complete lunch for this community and region. Uh, we had our own worship team, a large puppet ministry. Uh, the people really received so much prayer and um, healing uh, today, and we just seen the people's hearts being open to the things of God. We also were able to feed, I don't, I don't know, probably about 400 families uh, through the food bank of Eastern Michigan. They were able not only to have lunch, but also take home meals for next week. So. What would you tell someone that was uh, considering taking part in Prayer Chain Day next year? What would you say to convince them to do? I would tell you, by all means, to come out of your comfort zone and let God use you. You know, there's a movie that said, if you build it, they will come. And that's what Jesus left us here to do, is to build the kingdom of God. And so, um, if you're not involved, I tell you to get involved. It is just so rewarding to see the hand of God uh, through this ministry of Prayer Chain Day and how we started seven years ago and how God continuously to bless it and it continues to be fruitful and flourish. So we are just excited about what we were able to um, do for the community and showing the love of God. So we're even looking for bigger and greater things next year. So God bless you. I just want to uh, reiterate and thank all the volunteers who participated today, all the different churches. I thank you so much. This could not have been possible without you. But I also want to let you know, at 5 o'clock today, here at Calvary Methodist Church, right here on Flushy Road, they will be having a dinner for all the volunteers who participated in Prayer Chain Day to make this such a wonderful day. So I hope to see you there. Bless you. want you for all of those who are here you have pencil paper I want you to write down this because this is exactly write down Deuteronomy 28 1 through 14 the blessings of obedience that's what we got to be today we've got to be obedient today so we can walk in heaven hallelujah amen pastor Archie Powell is coming. Junior is coming before you today. What's wrong with our city? Amen, Flint, Michigan. I want to tell you how we're going to correct it for sure. Obedience. Deuteronomy. 28, 1 through 14. All right. Pastor Archie Powell, Junior. First of all, there's nothing wrong with our cities. What's wrong with us? The problem is not in the city, because Flint is the same. It always has been. The problem with us, we need to turn to Ezekiel, talking about dry bones. You go back and tell CNN News, we may be dry, but we ain't dead. You go back and tell them that. Our biggest problem, the most precious resources that we got in the city of Flint, we are wasting, call our youth. Young people need to let them know they can be somebody if they want to be somebody. All we got to do is stand up and hold their hand. But then when I sit and think about it, the scripture said, can any good come out of Nazareth? Yeah, 
as I can. Let them know that this city is on its way back. And if the governor was here, I would tell him, we don't need no emergency manager. We got the Holy Ghost. We don't need no, as long as you got the Holy Ghost, you can dance out. It tells you what to do. Only reason we ain't doing it because we don't want to listen to the Holy Ghost. We got to come and let folks know who we is, what we is, and where we're going. We said in talking about what's wrong with me. Ask your what's wrong with Church on Sunday. Something wrong with that program. 